Hi everybody, it's Mindy, and I figured what better day to unbox this painting than a lovely day here in Michigan, in the fall, out in the country. Why not, right? Um, I've had it for a hot minute and I haven't had an opportunity to unbox it yet. So here we go. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy this. And to everybody who's returning, welcome back. Thank you for continuing to visit my channel. So Diamond Art Club, square drill diamond painting. Um, perfect time to unbox this actually because I'm certain you're probably not going to be surprised. We're in the middle, well, beginning of the Chuck Along. Chuck Along six, you guys. Six times we have gotten together to paint beautiful, gorgeous Chuck Pinson diamond paintings. So, what do I have here? No surprise, right? Diamond Art Club box with a Chuck Pinson diamond painting in it. I've, I've wanted to get my hands on it for days and days. My husband had a long weekend and he was home all weekend long and we were doing stuff and it was just not, I couldn't film this. I was just, I'm antsy, antsy, antsy. Um, it's a big one, folks. It's a big one. 93 by 70. I know many of you have been asking, will these work for our big, bold, and beautiful event? And it's like, no, they're two centimeters short. We kind of did that on purpose because we know you can do one of these in a month. You show it to us all the time when we do the Chuck Pinsons. We wanted Big Bold and Beautiful to be a little bit more of a challenge. Anyhow, with that being said, here we go. It is Country Blessings by Chuck Pinson. Now, we're going to talk about this, right? Here's a little sticker you can put in your logbook. Some people put them on their boxes. Other people do other things with them. It's up to you what you do with it. Um, let's get into the toolkit and we're going to talk about this painting in depth because, I mean, if you've been around for any length of time, you know that Chuck Pinson has been on my channel a few times for interviews and it is always fascinating when he does. The stuff that he shares is just amazing. Oh, this is pretty. I like this. Ooh, look at my color. Look at my color today. Look at that pretty purple pen. That is gorgeous. That is a deep, deep purple and a little purple squishy for my pen. That's beautiful. I love that. Um, and I've had the opportunity to chat with him, and he has shared things with us. Here's our tweezers. And this is something he shared. All right, let's look at the rest of this. Here's our tray. Um, I don't, they don't do the cloudy ones anymore. Now they're all this clear see-through one with the gold speckles. And this is a stopper. I saw a picture. Somebody posted a picture somewhere and said, this came in my kit. What is this? <laughs> it's a stopper for your tray. All right. Here is your caddy for your wax. Keep it nice and clean and tidy in there. We got some multi-placers, a four and a seven. I need one of these right now. Uh, I can't, I can't use those metal ones. I'm trying and I'm trying. The metal ones are so pretty, but I can't. A bag of baggies. Just can't do it. Here's a washi tape. Every kit comes with a washi tape. This one's just like some pretty flowers. They're a nice, big, thick roll of washi tape, as you can tell. Um, I never take these out of the box. I don't ever use them. I just leave them in the box. Everything's in here. And here is my cute, cute, cute little cover minder. Look at it. I've got some new cover minders, you guys. We're coming up with some new things. Little bear. Reminds me of a gummy bear. Can you eat it? No, you can't eat it. It's got magnets on it. That wouldn't be good for you. Don't eat it. It's cute though, isn't it? Super cute. So that's your toolkit for Diamond Art Club. Um, the last time that Chuck was on the channel and talked to us, he shared paintings. He shared his current works that he'd been working on. And this was one of them. Um, that's where many of us fell in love with um, the Teal Lighthouse. Oh my gosh, we still want that Teal Lighthouse. But this one has come out. Another one um, came out already that he showed that evening on that interview. So um, we're still waiting on the Teal Lighthouse. But some of the others are coming out. So they have a nice soft back canvas. It's made out of this material called tarpaulin. It lays flat. It's got surged edges. It does not fray. I've never had one fray at all. So a lot of people are actually doing this one. It's the most recent Chuck Pinson at Diamond Art Club. And they're actually doing this one for the Chuck Along. 
So I'm excited to see how it's turning out as people are working on it. I'm going to be keeping my eye on this one in particular. <laughs> All right. But he shared this painting with us, and he talked about it, and um, shared some of his inspirations behind his paintings and where he gets his ideas and some special things. So we'll talk about those in a second. Here is the little information pamphlet that comes with all Diamond Art Clubs, all kinds of information in here, codes, tips, tricks. If you are a first-time purchaser at a Diamond Art Club and you want to save a little money, you can use my code, which is 10 off Mindy. $10 off your first um, Diamond Art Club painting. After that, check out the app. Check out your painting. There's codes in the box. Join their VIP group. Look, we got some little yellow drills, like, just sticking up here by themselves. Look at that bag of drills, though. Whoa. Wow. And it says Country Blessings right there on the front. Love it. Yeah, and then you'll save money, you know, on your next paintings. Wow, this has 66 colors. All right, this is a complete sticker. Everything on here is a sticker. So you can put this in a logbook, put your start and end date. Here's your sizing information. There is the picture. Oh, my, my, my. Wow. Here's your labels. They're all individually cut, so you can just peel them off, put them on your containers to kit up, and look at 66 colors. 66 Ooh, look at that one's a new symbol right there. When you get up to 66 colors, you have to get creative with your symbols. There's a new one. Never seen that one before. Anyhow, there they are. There's all your colors, all the DMC codes. Anything under 150 is an AB. Under 150, so 165 doesn't count. This really only has three ABs, huh? Interesting. It's got 135, 132, and 105. So green, orange, and mm, I don't know. Tan? I don't know. We'll find out in a minute. All right. Look at the drill field while we got you up here. Oh, look at. Let's just look at a covered bridge. Why don't we? Why not? There's a covered bridge. Perfectly clear symbols. I mean, Chuck Pinson paintings are known for confetti. All right. So confetti is where you only get a couple drills at a time, or one or two. This is fairly confetti heavy in here. Although you could multi-place three, I suppose. Um, maybe four. Lots of flowers and plants in his paintings, and those will be very confetti heavy. Now look up here in the sky, we have a rainbow where you can get a little bit more multi-place action in the sky you can. So it's got a pretty good mix, I would say, of some confetti and um, color blocking. So there's a, there's a covered bridge way off in the background, like you're leaving the farm and you gotta go across the bridge. The rainbow in the sky. We got a bird here. This is very fall, fallish. We got a tractor sitting out here, an old tractor. Here's some bluebirds. I talked about bluebirds in my whipping chat today. Bluebirds hanging out in the flowers. We got a turkey, and then come the cows. Here come the cows. Here come the cows. <laughs> we got this big red barn. Oh my gosh, these are so big, you guys. They're so big. Okay. There's a little town way out in the background back here, or another farm or something back in here that you can see. More birds in the sky. Um, houses back here. These are horses back here. They don't look much like horses here. I think you're just going to get like a, a little image. Lights on the barn. I see sparkly things there. Sparkle, sparkle, right? We got a whole crop of cows here. Here's my, here's my duckies. Here's my duckies. <laughs> I got some boys that look just like that. More turkeys. We've got another bird down here in the corner. And then you have this swing. We talked about this swing. I asked him about this in the interview. I said, so this is interesting. You have this swing here in the forefront of the picture. So it looks really large because it's up close where that is way far away. So he does a great job of, you know, doing those different close-ups and far away. There's another tractor out here, another house. Got a squirrel way up there in the tree. Can you see the little squirrel up here? He's hanging out on the tree. He can get here, he can get on the swing. <laughs> so he talked about a lot of things when he talked about this. If you have not seen this interview, I'm gonna to try to link that interview up in the cards so you can go back and watch the interview. Um, very interesting insights from him. Um, the one thing that he talked about 
and we talked about for quite a while was in this one he decided he was going to put some images in the cows he thought he would play around with the images and try to put some things here in the cows so let me show you what I'm talking about here let's zoom you in a bit um, and they're not like bold blatant object ob objects you have to kind of use your imagination a little bit so this one was just like a smiley face it's that's all it is a little smiley face on the cow right he thought this one here he said he thinks this one looks like two people kissing on the cow <laughs> right um this one is like a farmer so it gotta now, now work with me here here's his legs here's his body and he's got a chicken like his chickens flying you know so that's what he thought that one kind of looked like somebody keeps telling me they think this looks like mickey mouse here but it's not what it was supposed to be it was supposed to be like a little farmer with a football i think it kind of looked like woody you know from toy story um he asked his wife what she thought about the imagery in the cows and she said i don't like it take them out but he didn't <laughs> he left them in there he, he wanted to know what we thought about them i think it's kind of fun how they turn out in the diamond painting may be a different story i don't know where's my sticker sheet at um, in the painting, you can tell a little bit better what they are. Let's see if I can show you. Like, they look a little more distinct here. Like, see right here? This one back here really looks like Woody. I think it looks like Woody. Or it looks like a cowboy with a football <laughs> in the actual painting. You know, this one looks more like a man here. But this is the painting, and translating it to drills, you know... It may lose a little of that, but it's fun. Anyhow, it's fun. I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, all of your information is down here at the bottom about your painting. Um, they use a nice plastic, a thicker plastic, nice sticky poured glue. Love that. It's just gorgeous. It's absolutely stinking beautiful, right? Just beautiful. I mean, that's the only word I can say for it. It's gorgeous. Love all the fall colors, the fall leaves. It's beautiful. And I like how we have this action going on in the forefront, but that we have all this other stuff that's in the background. If you just look, there's many things happening back there as well. Right? It's so pretty. Just this peaceful little country farm. There's the church. Go to church, milk your cows, you know, drive the tractor. <laughs> it's country life, right? It's beautiful. All right. I'm going to show you drills, and we'll look for ABs. Figure out what that other AB is that I'm not certain about. It looks tan on the um, inventory sheet, but I don't know. We'll find out. It's beautiful colors, though. The reds, the oranges, and the yellows in this. Mm, gorgeous. A lot of people decided to do a fall painting this time. I mean, because, you know, it's fall. Why not? Let's do a fall painting, right? So, let's start with some pretty colors. Thirty-seven fifty-five and some taupe. I know. Right out the gate. Oh, I hear birds out my window here. My window's open. Yeah. They're getting closer. <laughs> There's some pretty red. Two 937s. Two 740s. Here comes those orange leaves. Oh, look at 132. That is a packed bag of ABs. That's perfect. I love it, love it, love it. I always say when I do landscapes, I love it when they put ABs in the plants, the flowers, the trees, because all of those should sparkle. The light hits them and they should sparkle. Look at the sparkle on those with that iridescent coating on them. That's going to be so pretty. That bird is going crazy, isn't it? There's a brown. Two 935s, which are green. There's an 809. That's got to be sky. Two 469s. Oh, look at this orange. Lots and lots of orange. Three of the 947s. Look at those. Beautiful. 666. 666. 666. Oh, that's right. A brown. And another blue. Love it. The orange color was what one? I've got to remember this. Um, probably number two. Am I right? That's number two, that orange. Okay. And we look for them. I don't know what we're looking for. These are all backwards. Backwards or upside down. One of the two. Some greens. 
taupe, peachy colors. A lot of peachy colors. Look at those. Two 3346s, green. Two 498s. Oh, that's barn color. That's got to go in the barn. Mulberry color. Some grays. Two 334s, blue. Another mulberry color, a goldenrod color. Ooh, look at 814, that burgundy. That's pretty. I can see that being right in here, the darker parts of the barn. I'm not certain that I'm right, but that's my guess. That's my guess. And, yep, they are. Yep, they are. Right there in the barn. All right. There's some more browns. Come on, focus. Two of those, two of those. Two of the 321 reds. This is my, I think this is one of the truest reds there is. It's red, red, you know? You know what I mean? Red, red. <laughs> Pretty yellow, a purple. Okay, 135. That is the green. Okay, we haven't found that other one yet. So green, that'll show up in the plants and stuff. Probably up in these trees and through here. Wherever we get the green, green grass. Brown, purple. <gasps> there is the other AB. It is brown. Okay. 105 AB is a brown color. I don't think I've ever had that color before. Where's brown going to go? I don't know. We'll have to find that one. That's interesting. Tan. That's like a blue gray. More greens. Gold. Purple. Tannish brown. We're almost done. Almost. <laughs> We're to the little strips now, the little bags. Blue, yellow, orange, blue, creamy yellow, purple, green. Now see, I think this color is the same as the AB. I always think that they're the same. If you look at them, look. Right? Aren't they really the same color, except this one's non-AB and that one's AB? That's my take on it, anyhow. Some blues, purples, just little bits of things here. A little bit of white, some teals. Here's my yellow that was crunched on the top of the bag. <laughs> There's about 50 drills in that. <laughs> it's a pretty yellow. There we go. Okay. Wow, the brown. Maybe it's going to be in the tree and the swing. I don't know. Let's see. So the brown is number one. Um, it is. Okay, it is. It goes. Okay, first of all, it's in the. It's in this dirt down here. Okay, let's let's in the dirt. Along here, is white AB. Not white. Jeez, brown, 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 and. In the dirt down here is some more of the brown. So in the dirt, we get brown AB. In this brick on the side of this little house here, some little, I mean, they stored something in there clearly on the farm. I don't know what, but um, there's the brown AB there. And then up this swing, up the rope, we get some brown ABs, not everywhere but just in certain places, like there's some here, here, and here, but not the rest of the rope. Interesting, very interesting. Some more dirt up here, get some brown there. Do we have any more brown over this way? Mm. No, I don't think so. I think that's about it. So that brown AB is just through this dirt here little in the house here, and then up the um, swing, the rope. All right, that's cool, it's a brown. Okay, the two, the orange. Okay, I'm certain the orange is just gonna be up there, right? <laughs> All right, but there is also some down here in these flowers. We get some of the orange AB. And then, yeah, in the trees, trees, trees. Over here, trees. Trees, 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 orange, 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 orange. <laughs> and then it just kind of keeps going. There's some here. There's some in this one here, here. There's even some on the side of the barn over here. We get some orange AB across the top of the tractor. 
over in here. There's a ton of them, right? In these flowers down here, get some of that orange AB. Love it. It's okay. Everywhere. Do do do. It's everywhere. <laughs> and then the green AB. That green is unmistakable. It just pops right out here. Here. Um here. 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 Do 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 do. You know, is there some in this tree? Yes, there is. In this green tree, we get some peppered around the tree there. Uh, it just kind of goes everywhere as well. There's down here, we have some in here, in here, in here. It's, you know, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. So, what do you think? Did you get it? Did you get it? If you are a Chuck Pinson lover, let me know if you got this one. Um, man, I sit here looking at it now going, I wish I was working on this. I wish I was working on this. I wish I was working on this. But I'm not. I'm doing a winter painting. Uh, anyhow, there's always next time. Always next time, right? <laughs> I haven't done a winter one of his yet, so I thought I would do winter. But this one is <gasps> stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. I'm glad I got to show it to you. Finally. Finally. Thanks for watching, everybody. And uh, yeah, like I said, let me know if it's one that you got or not. What do you think about the little imagery in the colors? Hmm. All right. I will talk to everybody soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a great day.